Hey there, besties, and welcome to another tier list with me in Japan. Yeah. So today we are doing a tier list on games that we are looking forward to in the upcoming year. Yeah, and there's a um, ton of games coming out, so we just put as many as we knew that, like, for sure, hopefully, are coming out, and um, that interests us, I guess, in general. Yeah, this is Japan's tier list. Um, I have a couple games on here that I'm looking forward to as well. I think I know all of these games, I think. Yeah, I can leave uh, it if worse comes to worse. But yeah, let's start with the first one, Baldur's uh, Gate. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, which has been in early access, and I bought it back when it's in early access. So I already have it, so I guess I'm like... I don't know if that means I'm more hyped or less hyped about it, but I have it already, and it comes out in August. Um, how are I'm you feeling about to, it? I mean, I'm looking forward to it as well. Um, I'm just trying to think of how excited... I'm going to put it on A tier for now, because I think I already know what my S tiers are. <laughs> I don't know, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, so, A tier for now. Yeah, I'll put it in A also. I'm, I'm hyped for it, I'm just more like... Like, just waiting for it at this point. It's been, like, a year since I've owned it, so it's, like, I, some of the hype is worn off, but, you know, I'm still waiting for it. Yeah, that's the only problem when games do that. We actually have another game like that on this list, too, that's kind of like that, where, you know. Yeah, it's been on my wish uh, list for, like, two years, the other game. I know. Um, uh, next up, we have Diablo. Is it four? Yeah. Diablo is a game that I actually really enjoy. Japan and I have co-opt this game we used to co-op it on um what was it xbox PlayStation one 3. i think i thought we also had it for xbox one i don't know Maybe we i did. do I remember we had to buy like a, rem a secondary controller so we could play it together uh for the xbox I, I we played it a lot though um which one did we play three or we had two different ones i thought we played three the whole two time and three not just three. Oh, okay we just played anyway. it a lot <laughs> We did, we did. We played it a whole lot. Um, so I'm kind of excited at the prospect of this game. Um, but I'm putting it on B tier because I think there's others that I'm more excited for. Same. I have a feeling that it, it's either going to be really good or really bad. Immortal was pretty bad, so I'm kind of concerned that uh, this might be similar. That's valid. Uh, so you're putting it on B tier? Yeah. Okay, next up we have the newest Zelda. I forgot what the new one's called. It's something of story. I, I don't know. I just know Breath of the Wild 2, basically. <laughs> something much. Kingdom, Twilight Kingdom, um, or some type of Kingdom. I actually have played Breath of the Wild. Like, I've played Zelda games, like, my whole life. Um, and I played a ton of Breath of the Wild. I really enjoyed it so much. And I'm excited for the new one. I'm actually going to bump down Baldur's Gate and put this on A tier. Um... So Baldur's Gate to B tier, Zelda on A tier. This is hard. I feel like there's a lot of games I'm just really excited about. So <laughs> yeah, where would to, you put it? I'll have to put it on C tier just because I haven't even played Breath of the Wild. So I just I need to play that first and then I'd probably I be more hyped it about it. I played a little it. bit. I played like maybe 30 minutes at max. I haven't really not no, played that. No, you definitely played more than that, but you didn't finish it. Because I remember you got to like a further end part and we were talking about how annoying some parts were. You played a little bit more than that, but you definitely didn't play a lot of it. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you say, I have no clue. Because, <laughs> like, to me, I only played a few minutes. So, I, I, and that's the most I've ever played of any Legend of Zelda game. So, um, I'm not super hyped on it just because I, I, I don't know what I'm missing, I guess. That's valid. Okay, next up we have Sons of the Forest, which is a sequel to the. F or is it a prequel? I think it's sequel a prequel. prequel. I think it's a prequel. Oh. But I could be wrong. Well, either way, it is. It, in addition to the forest, and we fucking love the forest. We've played a ton of the forest. It is such a fun game. I am very excited for the new one coming out. Um, I'm actually really excited. I think I'm more excited. I'm putting it on. I'm moving down Diablo and Baldur's Gate to C tier and putting it on B tier. Yeah, I'm putting it on B tier because I'm excited, but it, it could be bad. You never know. I'm excited because, you know, I mean, even if it is bad, at least I'm excited now and <laughs> I'm just ready to try it out. So uh, that's valid, though. So you're putting it on B tier? Yeah, I mean, I put, it in, okay. I put it on B. It's on the same level of Diablo where I'm cautiously optimistic that I, I know I'm going to want to get it. But I might not get it when it first comes out if if like the reviews are really bad because uh, 
There's, there'd be no point at that point. But like some other games, I'd be like, hey, this this has bad reviews. I'll still probably try it because I still, you know. See, I feel like it. I'm different. No matter what, I want to get the Sons of the Forest because I'm just very excited. We still need to beat um, the forest. So like... Yeah, well, what happened is we've been playing with big groups and it's really hard to get people all together. I feel like you and I just need to do it together. And yeah, just, like, that should be one of our playthroughs. Just it. play through the forest yeah, on our own. Yeah, just the two of us. Yeah, because like we always end up in big groups and a lot of it's just so hard to get like tons of people together to play the game. And unless you can do that and like consistently have everybody showing up like i feel like we were still during the time of like covid and everybody being home a lot when we first played the forest yeah, and the so we were all yeah able to play it all the time but then you know life changes and unfortunately we can't play with them as much so i think it's just gonna have to be us too so we can at least get power the <laughs> um okay next up we have party animals which I think we heard about this like two or three years ago, right? It, it had been about at least two years because like it was Corpse and PewDiePie and, and Jacksepticeye all played it and it was like, oh, I'm going to wish list this. And it just has no, they've not said anything about it. It's one of those games I will 100% buy, but I have absolutely no hype for it. So it's in D tier because it's just, I don't even know if it's going to come out this year. They haven't said Jack other than it saying that like, oh yeah, it's coming, but they have yeah, nothing. Like I, they... I feel like they just drop. I'm actually putting in D tier as well. They really dropped the ball. Whenever we first saw this, I was like super excited. I'm like, this is funny. This is funny as fuck. We're going to love this. And um, it just never came out. So like, it's one of those things that I'm just kind of like, I guess, sad about. Because like, I don't know. It was just something I looked a lot, really looked forward to. So. Yep, definitely. I feel the same way. Um, next up is Hogwarts Legacy. So I'm kind of torn on this game. Um, I, well, I mean, I think you said it has no attachments to JK Rowling, right? Yeah, as far as I know, at least what they released is that she's not going to get any money from this game other than her just normal, like, stuff that, you know, that she normally gets. Like, there's nothing, like, if the game makes two million dollars or whatever she won't get a cut of it she just will get the normal copyright stuff for just using like hogwarts and stuff or whatever keywords yeah. that they use but it's, so she won't be profiting from it like like the movies like if she writes a movie she'll be getting you know one-to-one -one profits or whatever to whatever she had put in you know percentage or whatever so i feel a little bit better about that because i was mm -hmm. against buying it at first because i was like i don't want to support anything that she's doing but it seems like it's more of a, what is it, port key uh, games and, and Warner Brothers. Separate thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's a big thing is just, like, not celebrating her because she's a transphobic piece of shit. So <laughs> I'm going B tier with it for now. I'm putting it um, A tier for now. I, I Yeah, that's fine. I'm cautiously optimistic that it's going to be a really good game. But I also can feel like it, we don't know much about it because there's so much swirling around other stuff. Okay, next up we have uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is this the one that's, like, Dead by Daylight? Yeah, it's uh, three verse, I think three verse five killers and, you know, uh, survivors and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting concept, but I feel like, uh, you know, if, they, if, if anybody plays Bubble or how they play in, in, in uh, Dead by Daylight, it wouldn't be a fun game. Yeah, I'm going to probably put this on C tier for me, because it's like I'm kind of excited, but kind of not. Yeah, I think it's definitely thing that I'll get it, like, especially if, like, Border gets it and, like, all three of us can play, but I not, if 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 anybody, like, if nobody else buys it, I don't think I'll buy it. Yeah, that's valid. Um, I think that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, next up, we have Resident Evil 4. Yeah, it's the um, remake. I've only ever played, uh just part of one and that was with japan on co-op i'm not really excited about it because i just don't really care so d tier <laughs> i'm excited about it i just don't really want to spend full price for another resident evil game um i probably won't buy it um i'm gonna put it in c because i i guess if it goes on like super sales but i might buy it just because yeah. um i don't know it's just uh no i get a decent it game. yeah it's uh okay feeling like i put too much stuff towards the bottom because 
now I have room at the. I mean, I guess that's good though. I might yeah. be able to move stuff around. Uh, next up, we have Killer Crown Clowns from Outer Space. What game is this? It's similar to the same thing with the Dead by Daylight Faden, where it's like you know killers going after you. I think it's. I want to say it's. I don't know, like maybe a three on five. Also, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they like go after you, chasing you with guns, and you try to defend yourself and splat them. So there's a little bit more like attacking mm. back, I think. Um. I'm not super hyped for it myself. I've never really heard about it, so I'm gonna put it on D tier. Or you may, I think you may have told me about this, but I just don't remember enough about it to, uh, yeah. Yeah, me and Border <laughs> sent the uh the the video on it, the trailer for it. It was just came kind of came out of nowhere, okay, and okay, uh, okay. But it's supposed to come out next year apparently, so I think it'll be worth playing. I just don't know if I'm really hyped to buy it. Yeah, that's completely valid. That is totally valid. Um, where did you put it? I put it in, uh, D tier. Yeah, that's kind of where I ended up. Um, next up we have Fire Emblem Engage, I think. I actually never have cared too much for Fire Emblem games. Um, I think they're okay, but they're not anything I'm, like, super crazy about. So I'm thinking I might move Party Animals up and put Fire Emblem in D tier, personally. Yeah, this one seemed to be closest to what I originally played when I played the place or mm, not PlayStation, okay. uh, Game Boy 3DS one or Nintendo 3DS one. Yeah, you one. played the shit out um, of that. So I, I, I'll probably think about buying it. I'm pretty hyped for it, but I, I don't know if I, I. It comes out like the first game out of all of these, and uh, oh, wow. I'm not sure if I'll be the one that will end up, uh, you know, like buying it or not, because it'll be like forty <laughs> yeah, bucks right off the bat, like. It comes in within yeah, like two or three expensive. weeks from now. Nintendo is stupid expensive. Is this also Nintendo or yeah. is it on other things? No, okay. just Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo is stupid expensive. They got so that exclusivity. That's valid. I mean, it makes sense that they can do that. All right. Next up, we. Oh, wait. Where did you put that one? Uh, B. B. Okay. Next up, we have Mail Time. So, this is a game that I'm very excited for. I was like, Japan, you have to put this on here. Um, Mail Time is. A very very cute game I'm on like the discord I follow like all the people making it and stuff um, I played the demo a while back uh, whenever it, they like they release it every once in a while and I was able to play the demo this game is so fucking cute and good and it makes my heart happy and I'm just I genuinely cannot wait for this game and recently on their discord they announced that it's supposed to come out in April and I'm just so excited I uh, it's just such a good game, and I love how cute it is, how cottagecore it is, and I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm, like, grossly excited about it. So, uh, S tier for me. Uh, B, B tier for me. It did look very exciting. I watched you, your, your demo on it, and it looked like a pretty interesting game, but um, that's I only saw, like, the demo part of it. I, I would definitely want to play it <laughs> when you buy it. Yeah, Plus we share a library, so I can just... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we share Steam libraries so we can play each other's games. Uh, what is this? It's House is Flipper House 2. Flipper coming out with another game? Yeah, House Flipper S2. 2. <laughs> See, I left it there because I was like, does that mean there's another House Flipper? I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know about they, that. They... I, I can be, um, what is it, uh, Oz, uh, Ozzy, says in, um, Ozzy says in Animal Crossing, he's always like, you're always on top of things and I'm usually stuck under them. That's me. <laughs> So yeah. I did not know. They announced it a little bit ago, and then like they put all their DLCs and stuff on sale. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure if I I would definitely want to buy it, but it, it just really depends on if they changed much, because it's like to yeah, me like when they do it, when they do those type of games, they'll have one and one was good, and then they added all the DLC, and then two will just be the same game but with all the DLCs inside of it. And, like, they won't add much, but it just really depends because there's a couple things I wish they would add with House Flipper. And if they yeah. add those things, that'd be cool. Because, like, the, I think I was saying on, like, the, I was doing a tier list on the games I played this year. And my big gripe about House Flipper is that you can't do the same level of houses after you've flipped them. So, like, after you get all the small houses done and you kind of, like, barely get along and you've unlocked more stuff you can never do small houses again like you just have a certain set amount of houses that you can do in house flipper and then it's over with yeah it, house flipper is a little janky with all of that we've both played like a gross amount of house flipper um and that's why i'm excited for it but i'm with you like they need to change some of the things with it before 
uh, I'm ready to drop more dough for it. Yeah, that's why I'll put <laughs> so, it in B. Like, I'll put it in B for now. I'm excited and I'm hyped for it, but until I see some I, gameplay and stuff. I'm actually going to trade Zelda for S tier and House Flipper for B tier because of that. Or A tier because of that, but... I don't know, I'm really excited. What's your S tier? Uh, Boulder's Gate, Hogwarts, and Sons of the Forest. Okay, I put Mail Time and Zelda as my S tier. And what is your D tier? D tier? Um, would be Party Animals in the Killer Clowns game. Yeah, that's valid. Just because I have Resident a feeling Party Evil Animals 4, is not going to come Clown. out. <laughs> yeah, mine's Resident Evil 4, Killer Clowns, and Fire Emblem. But, yeah, I'm a little worried about that, too, just because we've been waiting for so fucking long for it at this point. Yeah, and still no release so... date makes it really bad. It's kind of like there's other games that I was thinking about putting on here, but they still don't have release dates either, like uh, Witch Brook. Like, that's again saying that it's yeah. still still in development and still ready to come out. And it's like, what does that mean, like, from a year or next year or... And well, yeah, it's kind of like Haunted Chocolatier. I, they're like, don't even expect it in 2023. And I'm like, uh. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's just like, I know it's going to be a good game when it comes out, but then I lose all the hype because you guys announced it like in 2022. Like, why would you do that? Then take two years for the game. But I guess that's like many, yeah. normal for like bigger games, but it, yeah. it, it still sucks. <laughs> It's rough, but either way, we have some games to look forward to, and I'm super excited for gaming next year, as always. Yep, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this episode and hanging out with us. Make sure you check out Japan's channels. He streams on Twitch damn near daily. Um, there's a link to that in my description, and obviously follow us YouTube. Yeah, and follow all of Scar's YouTube, and uh, they've been live streaming on YouTube also, so make sure you check out their streams. Um, turn on the notifications, yeah, that'd be the easiest way to know when they stream. Yeah, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and happy holidays. Bye. Bye, besties.